I have a little bit of a confession. It's like 9.15 p.m. out here getting my run in. I just didn't want to get up this morning. And not just like ignore your alarm, go back to bed, but like mostly woke up, made the conscious decision to go sleep back in and get a couple more hours. Didn't run this morning or go to the gym. But those whoop stats though, those whoop stats. This is super nice actually. I never run in the evening, you know, as the sun's setting. I'm gonna throw five miles on the legs. Nice and easy. And then DoorDash some food. All right, we got some food. It's just the best how they always make sure to let the salsa explode in the bag on the way. In other news, I definitely can't show it on YouTube, but I ate it out there climbing up the concrete wall. Fell on my ass and ripped up both sides. Both cheeks are gonna be a bit scabbed up tomorrow. <laughs> My hello there. It's Wednesday, and what does Wednesday mean? It's speed work day. It's quality session day. Been lagging this week, dude. Ugh. Mornings have been tough. All right, nothing crazy though on the schedule. Just about five miles or so with some threshold intervals. So just gonna put down some GNM Sport, some carbs and electrolytes, gonna knock it out, and then uh, go at the gym. All right, we're back. Ended up being a six and a half mile run today. Now we gotta head off to the gym. But being deep into July, it is hot and humid out, so we come back soaked. Gotta go dry off and change to go to the gym. So training like this is already a lot, but it comes with a million little annoyances as well. And you come back from a run and you're just absolutely soaked. So you gotta dry off, then you gotta get dressed for the gym. But then after you get dressed, just because you dry it off doesn't mean that your body temperature is cooled yet. So you're still sweating a bunch. And you're just sweating in the clothes that you're wearing. And then you go through like two sets of clothes every morning. Plus the clothes that you wear during the day. A lot of laundry to do. So anyway, just a little rant. Life's so hard, isn't it? It's kind of like how when you hop in the shower right after a workout and then you get out of the shower and you dry off and then you realize that you're still sweating and then you feel gross again. <laughs> it's kind of what it's like. All right, six o'clock, just wrapped up a day of calls and it's time to go boxing. Why? <laughs> I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't really know. This is one of those times where you genuinely sometimes question the things that you do. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do it because I scheduled it. So I'm gonna go punch some pads, punch some bags, and then uh, hopefully squeeze in some food before I go get a massage tonight to cap off the crazy day. I will I will say though that one of the most beneficial things I think I've ever done in my life, my development, is to overcommit. I think that biting off more than you can chew, committing to too many things, forcing yourself to figure out how to prioritize different tasks, make time work, and throw yourself into different experiences uh, is one of the most helpful and valuable things you can do. Does it suck sometimes? Yeah. But it's putting yourself in an environment where you're forced to grow. The only answer to the situation is growth. Today, we are going to grow. All right, just wrapped up the session. And guys, to be honest, I don't think there's anything special about why I've wanted to get into boxing. I find it so fun and fulfilling to go from zero to one and different things, to have that feeling of development and it's interesting I guess like sometimes it's tough because you know I do a lot you know and I've tried a lot and gotten into a lot and there's a lot more that I still want to do but one of the drawbacks and one of the sacrifices of getting into new stuff and being a noob and going from zero to one is that going from zero to one something is very different than going from one to ten right and going deep into something and mastering a craft you can do a lot of different things and learn the basics of it but to really master something you gotta go deep it requires a different level of commitment and follow through and it's something that i struggle with because since i do all these things i'm never going to be the best at any of them and you know chasing this goal of the sub 330 marathon is just 
a stepping stone to wanting to qualify for Boston to run sub three hours. And the more and more I do this stuff, the more and more I realize that I'm probably going to have to sacrifice other things in my life to reach a level of commitment and dedication to running that allows me to be capable of running sub three. So I don't know, food for thought for myself today. And that'll, that'll, that'll do it. I'm gonna massage. Jeez. That's gonna do it for today. I'm beat. I is I overtrained today. <laughs> Long day. So, uh, I'm on my fifth outfit now. So, it was my run, lift, work, boxing, and then this one. Oh, back at it tomorrow. morning. 7 a.m. It's raining. We have to run. And I find myself sitting here delaying the inevitable. Saturday morning. 14 miles set and ready to go. It's about 4.15, but uh, 4.15 Pacific time. Not here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm gonna strap in. Feel all right, I'm trying to beat the heat. It's 4.15 and it's already 93 degrees out here. It's not that bad, it's dry. The humidity is really what makes it bad. I feel like I'm in a sauna. We're only about a mile and a half in. I have some good news. And I got some bad news. Good news is I found the uh, I found the canal trail they have down here, so should be able to run on this for quite a while. I mentioned this a lot, guys. One of the biggest hacks to enjoying your runs more is finding a legitimate walking trail, biking trail. It takes you off the road. It's usually quite scenic. You don't have to pay attention to cars. It just makes everything better. Bad news is, I can already tell this is going to be a brutal run, which is uh, which is fairly rare for me to say. But one of my shins is just feels pretty messed up, and my mouth is already incredibly dry, and I didn't bring any water with me. So sometimes though, you just got to go with it. Running next to a golf course, it's like kind of 4:30 in the morning. There's guys out here golfing, <laughs> driving around in golf carts, hitting hitting the light up golf balls. You couldn't tell. I'm definitely struggling. I'm definitely struggling. It's the worst feeling to not be dialed in in the right state on your long run. It's like any other day, it's like whatever. Push through the miles, get it done, wrap it up. You're out there for, you know, what, 40 minutes, an hour maybe. You're not feeling it on long run day? You better strap in. You know, strap in. We're getting our first signs of light. This is also a good chance to show a reminder that it's okay to take a breather. It's okay to walk for a minute. It's absolutely gorgeous out here, though. Every single mile is a chore. I just can't find a, uh, can't find a rhythm. Can't find my groove. Where is it? Where's the rhythm? And the groove? Where's the groove? Probably hide with the freaking water fountains around here. You think they'd be all over? We're six, six in, almost halfway. Yeah. I never know if I'd find this. Oh, oh man. Oh, how about that timing? Oh, okay. Nice, nice. thank you so much. Yeah, you enjoy it. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah. All right, that's 14 miles. Two hours, 17 minutes, 30 seconds, 9.49 minute per mile pace. Not terrible, but <laughs> that was terrible. That was, uh, I don't know, there was nothing 
redeeming about that run. I mean, I have a lot of respect for people that can train in the uh, in the heat. Just uh, did not feel good that entire time. And yeah, I did a uh, I did complain quite a bit through the run, but there was just nothing, nothing, nothing that was going well. You know, I shouldn't say that. That's not fair. You should always be able to take something good away. The uh, the sunrise was sunrise was great. Uh, peeking over the the mountains, but I feel awful. I was also on no sleep. I ate absolute junk yesterday with traveling and uh, was also dehydrated. So it was basically a recipe for a disaster, but we got it done. Now, the main thing that got me through the run is coming back to, look at this guys. Salmon roll pancakes. Waffle. <laughs> what up bro? Good morning. Dude, that was terrible. Good. There was not like a, there was not like a good minute in good. that two hour and seventeen minute long run. Sounds like you got some good training going on with it. Dude, what I can tell you is that some boats were carried this morning. I can tell you. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> look at these pancakes though. Holy! I don't think they met you, Jared. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this is good. Did you want some of this? I ordered a lot of food. Hi guys, I'm also a shirtless guy. So Jared here is gonna be, uh, are you running? You're, Jared's gonna be running the long <laughs> He's actually been training. All right, Sunday, about to go ahead and work out. We're yeah. gonna get a little bit bigger today, bro? I'm getting a lot bit bigger, a lot bit bigger. About to go tear up a Planet Fitness. It's, it's a bad day out. to be a Planet Fitness. It's a bad day to be a weight. What's that? Hey, we touched, we oh! <laughs> we touched, dude. Uh, so, it's in the books. You get a little bit bigger today? I got a lot bit bigger. A lot bit bigger. This is gonna get hot, isn't it, dude? It seems a little ironic to go to a sauna when it's like 115 degrees outside. Yeah, this feels like outside. <laughs> I feel like I'm outside again. Why are we paying for this, dude? How long are we in here for? 40 minutes. What? We're in here as long as we can go. I can't it's go like a challenge. Minutes. Is it? Are you serious? Are you joking? So what's your review of the cold plunge, bro? Hey, that place was awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I have one back in Canada and start doing it every week. Do you feel like it makes you ready for tomorrow's run? All right, solid session. That'll round out a week of training. Got a glorious sleep, solid lift, good recovery session. Jerry killed the cold plunge. That was great. <sighs> another one in the books, on to another week if you want to keep following the journey. Jared really wants you to subscribe. I do. If you subscribe, there'll be a gift waiting for you in your mailbox. You heard it here.